actually create new jobs. We must also help Singaporeans take on these jobs. New jobs often require new skills and new knowledge. And that is why training is so crucial to help our workers become more productive and more competitive. Next, we will need to also improve the businesses and jobs that are already here to productivity improvements. If we can achieve our target of improving our overall productivity by 2 to 3% every year, over the next 10 years, we will be able to raise income by 30%, even after adjusting for inflation. To focus employers on productivity improvement rather than to focus on relying on low-wage, low-skilled foreign workforce, we have to moderate the demand for foreign workers and raise their quality. But foreign workers are still needed to help us build HDB flats and the MRT lines. We need to prevent an over-dependence on foreign labour. We need them, but having too many of them is not good for us. We need to calibrate our policies carefully to achieve a fine balance. We do understand the concern of Singaporeans on the pace of growth of the foreign workforce. We feel a sense of discomfort and anxiety when we see them at our workplace and in our community. A resident shared with me just this morning at Take My Market when I made my rounds that he was a PMET in an electronics company. He felt very unsettled when his company started to employ engineers and technicians from overseas. Although his own job has not been affected, I spent half an hour explaining to him what we are doing to help our local PMETs move ahead. And our interest <coughs> is always to ensure that Singaporeans will eventually benefit from growing our economic pie. I think at the end, he was reassured, but I know the anxiety in his heart will not go away for some time. This is natural. For the lower skilled work permit holders, the dependency ratio framework or quota system ensures that companies need to employ local workers first before they can employ foreigners. And the higher the ratio of foreigners to locals they employ, the higher will be the levy they have to pay. We have announced a series of increases to the levy and the tightening of the dependency ratio tiers to moderate demand for foreign workers under the Work Permit and s -Pass framework. We have also announced in Parliament earlier this year that we will raise the salary threshold needed to qualify for Employment Pass and s -Pass in order to encourage employers to be more selective and go for higher quality Higher, high, better quality foreign talent. This way, we will tilt the balance significantly in favour of locals. We take a two-pronged approach to give local workers a significant advantage over foreigners. On one hand, we moderate the demand by raising the levy and tightening qualifying criteria. On the other, we help local workers to go for training to become more productive and more competitive. This is a win-win strategy to ensure we will continue to enjoy sustainable growth and that Singaporeans will benefit from that growth. 